what you're seeing here is not Dead Space 4, but it easily could be. Instead, this is a game called The Callisto Protocol, and it's an upcoming survival horror game scheduled for release later this year in December. It's been developed by a new studio called Striking Distance, and it's founded by none other than Glenn Schofield, who you may already know from Sledgehammer Games, but he also happens to be the co-creator of the original Dead Space, and you can clearly see the influence that that game has had on his new project. The original Dead Space was released by Visceral Games in 2008, and at the time, Glenn Schofield was the general manager. It's said that his goal with the project was to create the most frightening horror game he could imagine, using other games such as Resident Evil and even classic sci-fi horror films like Event Horizon as inspiration. It's fair to say that he succeeded, and the franchise went on to release two more main games after that, although Schofield would leave to found Sledgehammer Games. Fast forward to today, and Schofield founded a new studio a couple years ago called Striking Distance. Originally, this game, The Callisto Protocol, was due to exist in the same universe as PUBG. Yeah, that's right, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It probably seems like a weird tie-in, and it is, but the concept was that the events of the game would take place a few hundred years after the events of PUBG, if you followed the lore of the game. There may have been some subtle nods there, and the tie-in for this, yeah, it was a bit weird, but Striking Distance Studios received investment and funding from Crafton, who developed PUBG, so that's clearly how the original connection came about. Thankfully, that concept has since been abandoned, and recently Glenn Schofield took to Twitter to confirm that this game is now its own story and in its own world, and no longer takes place in the PUBG universe. Up until now though, we'd only had a few little teasers and snippets of information, but thanks to the Summer Game Fest, we finally got to see actual gameplay. The plot takes place in the year 2320, far in the future in a prison called Black Iron and Callisto is one of Jupiter's moons, and we got a good look at the setting in the first reveal trailer which came out almost two years ago. From that trailer, it looks like we see the warden of the prison, who appears to be very calm, considering that they can see all of the inmates being eaten by some pretty horrible mutated demon creatures called the Biophage. Perhaps he's the main antagonist in the game. Maybe he's even got something to do with what's happening in the prison. And you'll spend the game playing as Jacob Lee, an inmate. One of the lucky ones who's not been eaten, at least yet, and the goal is to simply make your way through the game and survive, but with an unknown alien outbreak occurring, that's not going to be easy. The main character is also being played by Josh Demel, which I honestly wouldn't have known from the gameplay so far because he spends most of his time facing away from the camera or with a helmet on. Much like Dead Space though, this is a single player third person survival horror game. In fact, it seems like Schofield wants to create the scariest game possible. They even have a team for creating just scary moments. It's called Horror Engineering, and it's the process for blending atmosphere, tension, and brutality. One thing Dead Space was known for was some pretty violent cinematic deaths for the player, and the Callisto Protocol aims to take that up a notch. We got to see some of these in the latest gameplay, where your character is sucked into the rotation of a heavy grinding machine of some delineation, and the result was not pretty but visually impressive. And the extended trailer also has your character's head being consumed by a large alien. It's not for the squeamish, and that's for sure. Glenn recently also took to a PlayStation blog to explain how the team goes about creating a horror game and explains that you can't just have jump scares around every corner. Within reason, of course, and although they space them out to give players a break, sometimes they will hit you with two or three in a row, but it's the atmosphere and audio that will make the game more scary and of course the things that you're actually doing in the game, and how horrific they may or may not be. Let's touch on the visuals quickly though, because I imagine that fans of Dead Space will have noticed a lot of similarities in the visual concept here. You've got the player character, sometimes wearing a rusted spacesuit, and minimal hood that you could easily guess might have been a Dead Space game. You even have the ammunition count visual on the backs of the guns, and what appears to be a health bar or indicator on the back of the player's neck that you can see through the suit. This was something that players really appreciated from Dead Space, and it seems to be that the Callisto Protocol will stick with the same style. The player won't have a HUD printed on the screen like in most games, sometimes breaking immersion. Instead, their health is on the suit and the ammo is visible on the back of the gun. 
Dead Space was also a very methodical game. Gameplay wasn't clunky as such, but it was slow and purposeful, and you had to really preserve your ammo and place your shots. And the gameplay loop here seems similar. Glenn Schofield has said that they built a strategic combat system that forces players to get up close and personal with these horrifying creatures, so that they can blend melee combat and gunplay seamlessly. It also allows them to really show off the brutality of the game. We see one of these new melee weapons in the trailer as well as some kind of electrified baton. There's going to be a lot of gore in this game. You can also shoot off limbs as a way to slow down enemies, really useful for crowd control. And you might remember in Dead Space that your character was an engineer, Isaac Clarke, so they had access to a plasma cutter which you could use to dismember the necromorphs. Nothing as of yet if a similar weapon will exist in this game, but there is a focus on melee and we've seen some pretty brutal melee clips so far. That's not to say that there aren't new weapons though. In the gameplay we get to see a unique gravity weapon called the grip, which seems to be a glove of some sort that allows you to grab, suspend, throw and even freeze enemies. And this is a weapon used by the guards in the prison to control the inmates, but at some point in the story you'll obviously find it and be able to use it. From the gameplay we've seen so far there's a real sense of the environment being a danger to you and the enemies. Large extractor fans, machinery, all of it can be used to deal with these enemies, but it can also kill you if you're not careful. What the developers have said they want to stress is that because this is a survival game, the player should mostly feel an element of helplessness. Jacob is not a soldier, and who knows what he's done to end up in a prison, but every encounter will be a life and death struggle. Ammo, health and weapons are precious, and as such, you'll need to scour the prison for as many advantages as possible. This is a thinking person's game, you don't just want to unload all of your ammo on a few basic enemies. Intriguingly, something that Glenn Schofield has mentioned is about a sense of mystery, and the mix of showing just about enough of the game without showing too much in the way of story or mechanics, so I think they're concealing a lot of gameplay here. Of course, in time more information will naturally be shared and leak out, but if this is that kind of game then I'd prefer not to know that much about it and just experience it first hand, first time. And wrapping things up, Glenn Schofield isn't the only developer with a previous connection to Dead Space either. Around 25 to 30 of Schofield's co-workers from Visceral are now working at striking distance on this game, so as you can imagine, there's going to be a lot of interest surrounding the release, especially from Dead Space fans when it arrives in December this year just before Christmas. So there's going to be a lot of hype for this one, especially when the remake of the original Dead Space is not scheduled to be released until 2023. So that's all. I'm really liking the look of this. Actually looks AAA, polished, nice graphics, gameplay looks good. By all accounts, it's a new Dead Space game without being called Dead Space from the original creators. And if it has most of the DNA of the first two games, just with a modern spin on it and an interesting story, I'm sold. Count me in. And that's all. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.